Hello everyone, welcome back, and thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Um, if you've been around for a while watching my channel, you know pretty much a lot of my videos have the ability to help people help make people think. I'm pretty decent at that, so I want to ask you guys a question. And sometimes when you put things in different perspectives, it makes you see things that are right in front of you that you might take for granted and make you rethink it. So I'm going to talk about defense. Now, um, when if you've ever played a video game in your life, let's say there's a video game where you are the king of a castle and you have to defend your castle from other video game people trying to take over your castle. Now, if with the word defense, you're defending your castle. That's your sole job. Where is the best place for your soldiers to be? Well, either in your castle or surrounding it, basically where the defense needs to be. If you are in your castle and your military, your soldiers are hundreds of miles away, are they defending? No, they're probably attacking. So let me ask this question to all the people that listen to every day about, especially in this country, the United States of America Corporation, how if you ever see an advertisement for the military, whether it be Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, they're always talking about how their soldiers are out defending the country. Now, where is the majority of our military? Are they here in the United States Corporation? Because isn't that what defense is? If you're defending the country, shouldn't you be here to defend it? Well, where is the majority of, of the military? Well, they're in other countries. Is that defense or offense when you're in the other territory? Think about football. When you're defending your one yard line and keeping the other team from trying to cross it, you're right near where you're defending. If you're on the other side during on their one yard line, you're not defending anymore. You're offense because you're not in your end zone. You're at theirs. So think about that. I know people love the military. I know it's the patriotic thing to cheer on, but you don't know what you're cheering because those soldiers don't work for the same people that defended this country and made this country possible in the American Revolution. Watch my other video I made the other day, the condensed version of the truth of the United States law on you, and you will learn that our military works for a corporation owned by the British Crown called Washington. Well, the corporation is known as the United States, registered in the District of Columbia, which is owned by the Bank of London, which ultimately is owned by other people, but we're not going to get that deep. So the military, if their job was defense, they should be here defending from people oppressing us. But yet, our soldiers are on the other team's end zone. That's offense, not defense. So, you ever wonder why they don't take over or they're not really majorly involved in nations that do not provide things what we need, like oil, lithium, water, gold, silver, platinum, uranium, diamonds? Uranium. We seem to be in all those places where those particular countries just happen to have an abundance of those things. But we're there to defend our country, aren't we? But when you are playing, like I said, and I'm, I put it in a scenario to make you rethink about the things that you're programmed. Reprogram yourself. Rehardwire your hard drive. It's a choice. If you were playing a video game and the game was called Castle Defense and you were the king of your castle and you had to defend your castle, the best way to defend your castle is to have your soldiers and your military at the castle protecting it. That's what defense is. Not sending them somewhere else or all over the world. That's offense. That's attack. Stop listening to the propaganda and waving your flags because you're waving it for the enemy. And you don't realize it. So people can sit there and say, oh, you're not patriotic. No, I'm more American than 90% of the people because I understand what real America is. And I'm not saying it to piss people off because I understand this is an emotional thing and it will make people angry. But verify the things I say. 
I've talked many times. Look at the Act of 1871. Look at the fact that the United States went bankrupt in 1933 and used its people, a.k.a. citizens, as collateral to the British crown owned by the Bank of London, owned by the Rothschilds, who are owned by other people, but we're not going to get that deep, like I said. So instead of getting angry and saying, oh, this guy's a jerk or he's anti-American, no, I'm anti-United States corporation. I'm not anti-America. I live on the continent of America. But the United States is nothing more than a registered trademark corporate name located in the District of Columbia. And if you've ever marked a box that says, are you a U.S. citizen? And you mark yes, you have given up your rights as the 13th Amendment protects you as a legalized slave because you have given over your authority or your servitude. You volunteered your servitude to become part of a corporation without you knowing it. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Get pulled over going through a red light and tell the police officer, oh, I didn't know you couldn't do that. And see if they let you go. See if they say, oh, you didn't know? All right, God. No, they're going to give you a ticket. Be in court for murdering somebody and tell the judge, oh, I didn't know you couldn't do that. What do you think they're going to do? Oh, you didn't know? All right, you can go. It's okay. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. So if you don't know what you're signing... Well, first of all, you shouldn't sign it because if you know anything about law, law is based on presumption and assumption. They're assuming you know what the law is because why else would you sign something? The catch-22 is they technically don't give you full disclosure of what you're signing. So technically what they're doing is fraud. It's just no one challenges it. So I hope you will ask yourself that question. Or I hope you will think about what I talked about, about defense, about the military. Are they defending? It's like, oh yeah, well, they're keeping our freedom. No, they're going to other countries and stealing their resources and killing people in the name of freedom. So you'll wave your flags and continue to pay the taxes that continually have them become wealthier and health wealthier as we become sicker, poorer, more depressed and more birth defects and more people dying every day or depressed or on medications. It's time to wake up, people. I know some dreams are just amazing. But why do you want to spend your whole life in bed to have a dream? That will never come true. It's time to wake up. So let's hear your comments. Let's hear what you have to say. If you appreciate this stuff, sharing it is a great thing. Thumbs up always help. Let's hear your comments. Let's share the wisdom. Let's open the eyes and share the truth about what's really going on. Because that is the only way to make real change. Otherwise, you're just living the American dream. And like a famous comedian once said, you have to be asleep to live the American dream.